Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. So a good friend of mine gave me a 26cc weed eater for free. And the, um, the spool on it has been damaged and uh, the string just flies out uncontrollably. Or I have to take just one small piece and run through, but it wears out pretty quick. So I went to my local Lowe's and found this. It's the Ugly Head Hybrid. It's got both the uh, string and these little blades on it. So I thought I would give this a try on my small weed eater. Get this old spool off of here. So you can see I've just been using a single piece through here. Not very effective because uh, these pieces are just broken up here. So I'm gonna pull this off and we're gonna try out the new one. So the stuff inside the box is this cap with uh, various sizes of nuts and bolts. It comes with this spacer piece that fits down in here. Um, has this little plastic piece which apparently buffers the, the spinning part from your weed eater. Then it's got uh, the extra lines here for this and then the two extra little saw blades here. Now apparently when you install these blades you push down this little uh, red button and so you do that and then that. Um, now it says don't use the two in combination, so uh, we'll give them both a test and see how they work. Let's see, for my future reference, let's see how long these pieces of line are here. Looks like roughly one foot. It's kind of what I was expecting. So, um, it looks like what you do is you take the piece of uh, line here, and you fold it in half. Yeah. Okay. Then you just feed it through. That's simple enough. And you could probably even just feed it through without measuring the half mark and just make sure they're matched up when you pull them tight. Okay, let's get this thing installed. So this cup comes with a ton of hardware and it says you need to find the correct size. So let's see what we got here. All right. Well, I wonder if this piece goes over that. Interesting. Don't really see that in the instructions. It would kind of make sense, but anyway. So uh, let's see if this fits in here. Yep. Okay. Toss the washer. Toss this plastic piece. Then put this on here. Then this little uh, yellow hex piece, okay, then start screwing this in. All right, seems simple enough. I hope this works. I mean, it was a free weed eater, so, you know, if I have to go back to the other spool, I guess I will. And I really hope that uh, set of blades works because I've got a lot of thicker grass I'd like to cut down. All right, we'll see how well a 26cc machine works with this tri-blade.
not too bad. This stuff is pretty big, so let's try something a little bit smaller. Well, my initial impression is that this thing does pretty good on both uh, thick stuff and small grass. But for this 26cc motor, it has to run pretty wide open to cut anything serious. So let's move on and try out those blades. All right, so should be able just to slip these guys out of there. Hope this thing holds up for a while. I paid uh, $29 for it. Okay, now the blades, I'm going to, uh, I guess, uh, push this way it was. Okay. Well, these things certainly go on quickly. Wonder how long they're gonna last. Let's see how well this blade works on some bigger stuff. That was impressive, really. I mean, that was effortless compared to the string. Well, we know how this compares to the tall stuff. Let's see how well it takes care of the small grass. Well, I must admit, these three blades have impressed me already. I'm not sure how long uh, a set of them is going to last, but with the breakaway design, I think it will uh, be pretty good. So I'm going to use this for about an hour here today, and we'll see uh, how well it works. And if one breaks, I'll finish up the video with that. But until then, thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I will see you next time.